Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be hopefully installing a uh, GK Tech ABS Delete Kit. Comes with pretty much everything you need to get rid of that ABS unit over there. I've currently uh, got issues with my ABS or my brakes in general. Um, I try to get it tuned, or not tuned, but just to check up before I do paint it and register it, make sure it's running all safe and healthy. Um, the guys I took it to um, said, no, sorry, we can't actually run it on the dyno because the brakes are a little bit dicky, like they work, but all the way down to the floor. Um, and obviously, you know, it is a safety thing, so just gotta bite the bullet and, you know, hopefully, hopefully getting rid of my ABS will be fine. So this is what we're using. Shout out GK Tech. Well, they're not really sponsoring me, but I paid for it anyway. But shout out to them for making something, you know, something so good and simple to get rid of that. So, please be, uh, please be patient. If you uh, enjoy the video, please uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Because, you know, I'm trying to trying to do something cool here. This will be the uh, pretty much last car I own. Um, as in, in regards to, like, an import. Because, you know, being uh, an R33 Series 2 sedan, you know, they're kind of getting... Uh, Kind of hard to find, so um, yeah. Please be with, uh, please, sorry, please stay with me on this uh, little journey of YouTube videos that I hopefully get around to making. Um, I'll show you some more, obviously, you know, some more um, things in regards to my skyline as time comes along. So as you can, I'll give you a quick rundown. RB25 uh, Neo in a 33 Series 2, running on an ECU of uh, a Series 2 as well. Um, it's just got a comedic head gasket. I've had the valve stem seals and shit like that redone. Uh, it's got a three inch stainless steel intake, HPI low mount manifold, if you can see, kind of in there. Fuel pressure reg, uh, sorry, Turbo Smart FPR 600. If you can see down there, uh, there's a stainless steel split dump pipe that's plumbed back in, which is right down the bottom there. Um, this stainless intake I actually made myself. Um, and that's. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I'm going to show you so far, because uh, the car's actually still in primer. Uh, it does need to be painted, obviously, before I go any further. Um, I can't wait to put it painted. I can't wait to see, you know, see how it comes out. I can't wait to show you guys. So yeah, this is pretty much the start of my uh, kind of journey. So please, uh, please stay with me on this whole video. If you're interested in, you know, if you want to see more of what I'm doing, uh, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and I can't wait to carry on. Okay guys, so this is what the uh, the kit looks like unboxed. Uh, you got like obviously your, your brake union, your new braided lines. Um, now for, oh sorry, the two bando bolts that go into the brake master. Um, you need a 14mm spanner, so right here. Um, and then for the actual brake line fittings, You'll need, it's recommended you use a 11mm uh, crow's foot spanner, like you can use an open end spanner like this, um, but there is a high chance you will actually strip these on the uh, brake master, say right here, or on the ABS unit, obviously all these will be going. Um, now the first thing obviously you're going to want to do is, um, is pull your front wheels off. So I will jack the car up, pull the front wheels off, and get back to you from there. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've got the uh, front wheels off. Now please do ignore the really badly painted uh, calipers, because I'd like to actually do a video on pulling these apart, perhaps even rebuilding them, and um, obviously upgrading my pads and rotors, and yeah, also painting these. So, now I've got the front wheel off, this is where you want to start, so you want to undo this uh, hard line, which then goes obviously through the body there. And comes out and attaches to just up there at the brake master so I'll get that off and I'll get back to you okay guys jump the head a little bit um, so I've already got the uh, ABS unit pretty much out what you want to do with this is just uh, try that over there because it's rubbish um, now so I've got obviously everything undone uh, your next step you want to do is now I'm only doing this for the first time so you know please bear with me if I uh, make a mistake obviously you know correct me in the comment section below or yeah just let me carry on with my video um so your yeah, next step is uh pull all these brake lines out now obviously you don't need them so if you do get frustrated and get stuck you can just cut them into pieces and pull them out which will make it a lot easier 
I'll try not to do that because obviously, you know, I could probably salvage these. Um, you know, someone I know or someone on a forum, someone might be looking for ABS lines or just better condition uh, lines. So I could probably be able to donate them to someone or, you know, keep them just as a spare. Yeah, guys, I was also, sorry, I was also wrong. Um, with the, the factory Skyline or the, like, the genuine Nissan um, brake line fittings, it's actually a 10, so it's a 10 on this end, and then the GK Tech stuff down here is all 11s. Okay guys, um, now I've fitted the passenger side GK Tech line, so obviously it runs over from where the master is, across the firewall, down and through this grommet just here. It pops out down here, now just screw straight in, uh, you use your 11mm spanner, fit it in right there, and now I've gone back over this side too. Um, I've also started to fit the rear brake line, if you can see it just there. I've still got to tighten it up. Now, the rear goes to the front of the brake master, so right here, and then the fronts go to the rear.